Hey, what's up everybody, man? This is my fourth video trying this, because I keep finding shit every time I look at this that I didn't point out the last time, so hopefully I will get everything. I've got the RCA Select Division here with the lid off of it so you guys can see what it looks like on the inside, and I'm going to pop a disc in and show you how it operates, but after opening this up, I did find the date. This is a 1983 model, and... I don't know what the fuck they were thinking, but on the buttons, because I was saying it's just got scan, basically, to where you can scan through the movie. I'm looking at this, and I just, I don't know why I didn't spot this, but it's got cutouts in the metal part here, which I will show you for three other buttons. One being pause, that they left out of this model, and two more fast reverse and fast forward which I noticed on the next models up from this it's got the fast reverse and fast forward so that's what those extra buttons are <laughs> so it's like why the fuck would they cheapen it like that it's like the little buttons cost that much more I don't get it <laughs> I just don't get it uh, that's what I'm trying to point out there. See? It's got it etched into the metal. And there's the cutout for paws and the cutout for the other. And it's even got the little holes in it for the leads. They were all set up to do it. And they just basically they cheapened this model. And this is where I found the date. This strip of paper right above there says in English and in French manufactured March of 1983 also I wanted to point out motherfuckers old not <laughs> 83 yeah not that old but old enough to where they're still using this basically fabric or woven string type wire here for the power supply which that's the power supply and it is big but all the other wires are normal so that's all you got to deal with which basically when you got that type of stuff treat this like one of them special things you bring out if you got your friend over or somebody just wants to see how it works don't play it to death because <laughs> that's not exact they got rid of that because it can be dangerous in fact my old pinball machine I've got an old electromagnetic pinball machine and every wire in it is like that it works, or used to work, I know I can fix it, but <laughs> one of those things, man, you, you, you play it occasionally. So, let me get this to where you guys can see here, and I will pop in a disc here, and show you how this son of a bitch works. And hopefully my web plan won't fall off. <laughs> don't really have any place to set my jam so I can show you guys something so oh another thing forgot to point out if you guys just got one of these and you think that it's broken because it won't turn off this model and probably the ones that are ahead of it that got the extra buttons to turn it off you move it up to the off position which on this one if you just turn it up to where it says off it's going to not do anything. It may get staticky on the picture, but it's not going to turn off. You push on it until the red light on front goes out, or until you hear that disc stop spinning. And it doesn't take long. It's pretty instantaneous. And I know why they did that. That was so the disc will have time to stop spinning and not get scratched. So push on it, and it's a pretty hard spring in there. You'll feel some tension when you push, and it's not that far. It's maybe like a centimeter. Let it drop down, let it go out. Give it a good 25 seconds or so, 30 seconds maybe. So it gives it time for that just to stop spinning. So to load it up, move it all the way down. And something to point out here, if you're doing it with the top off, don't just jam the thing in there 
there is a groove in the plastic on each side here just above that plastic lip that moves up and down to cover up the slot. That makes it so this slides in nice and level and it's also got it to the back on the side here. And as you can see, grabbed it, put it out carefully. And some of these still had the price on it to give you an idea of how much these puppies cost back in the day. This lamest fuck senior citizen movie was originally 30 bucks. I've got some, like some of the Star Trek, 40 bucks a piece. They were right up there on the price with the laser discs. So, start this thing up. And just like a laser disc player, it's got to start the momentum. And then, that noise you heard is basically the thing lining up for the stylus, and then it will gradually start going. Now it's playing. This, I can't show you this thing moving because it's playing it like a record, so it's very, very slow movement. There is a coggle wheel right here, which I seriously doubt if you guys can see it good in this vid. I have to do a low quality vid here. I'm sorry on that. I wanted to do this in high quality, but I don't want to have to do it again once I get it right because. For some reason, YouTube has screwed up, at least on two of my videos in the last few days, to where it gets close to being finished on the upload and then says, error, failed. And one of them was an important video. I was trying to show you guys a better video on the quality on opening up the PS2 and showing how to clean the laser and showing that little coggle in there that you can use to adjust the laser's height. And pfft, I gave up. I tried three times and each time it screwed up. So it wasn't the video, it was them or my lousy internet service. But pretty much this is the part that is just fucking phenomenal. <laughs> you stick it in, it spins. Spinning, spinning, spinning. <laughs> Shows that it's doing its thing and just wanted to point some of this stuff out because I could not find a date on it. And it is funny that it's all got the cutouts here for all the little upgrades. And keep this thing going here. One thing I found out that's cool. On the lid, this is pretty much all it took off, this main lid, just a really big lid. And be very careful taking this off. I recommend grabbing it from the sides and just don't pull hard just a little bit and just gradually lift it off back in first and then the main switch have it in the play position easier to get it out of there and that's basically what you're trying to get the thing off of but this piece of paper it's right there that is for the technician which I'm surprised it's still in here and in good shape it shows the schematic of all the circuitry all the chips spots on where to put oil or grease or whatever so for anybody that's familiar with this kind of stuff man here you are man you got a schematic here so you can troubleshoot if you got one that's broke very cool no need for a technician's manual on this puppy so once again this is the RCA Selective Vision SGT 075 model 1983 manufactured in 1983 and on other information there is a fuse in here somewhere and I ain't gonna try looking for it because it's still working but oh and there is belts looks like a vacuum cleaner style belt so hopefully that won't snap hasn't snapped yet so probably should be alright but not a bad system not as good as LaserDisc on the way it's built, but not a bad system. Pretty damn cool. So, catch you all later. Feel free to comment on this. Or whatnot, or... <laughs> if you got one, man, do the same thing I'm doing. I'd like to see some of the other ones opened up like this, man. I like seeing all this old technology. It's just cool. <laughs> catch you all later.